Welcome back. I'm Jay. We got Steve behind the camera. This is a heads up show. Thank you so much for joining. Today we are talking about a new thing and we get it for about the next hour and then we got to give it back. This is the Vices Zero Two. So shout out to Rhett over at Shot for hooking us up with this guy a couple of hours while he's uh, coming through town. This is what is going to be kind of out on the field next year. I think it looks great. It's kind of race inspired. It's definitely more refined than the Zero One was. I agree. And different face mask. I have not tried it, but I do not think that the old Zero One face masks are going to fit on this. Vices is going to get a move in direction uh, to use chin straps from Shot. I know Shot's got a new chin strap coming out. Shh, don't tell anybody. Larges are going to be available sometime in the spring. So they're basically they're going to crank out a ton of larges, which is the most common size uh, for high school and up, make a bunch of those, and then probably get into the mediums and the extra larges and then smalls down the line. Pricing on this uh, has not been set yet as far as I know, at least that information hasn't been communicated to me. But I'm going to be thinking, Steve, somewhere in the $500 to $800 range. I know, and it's is a that, big is that, range. Is that too big of a, a range to... Well, well, sink your teeth on yet? I mean, we really don't know, but the truth is it isn't going to be cheap. It, it, you know, the Zero One used to have a tag of like 1500 and then it was taken yeah. down to 1000 This will be lower. I don't know how much lower, and we don't also don't know, will this be available in youth? Eventually, yes. I don't think we're going to see this in youth uh, in 2021. That's my gut telling me. It might be towards the end of the year or maybe even towards the end of the summer, but I would not bet on it. I'm a, a little concerned about those vent holes. I wonder if they'll get clogged with dirt and grass. Maybe not, um, but I love mm -hmm. the integration of the chin strap, strap that tucks into the helmet. The interior of that thing it's like a Bentley. I put it on my head. Yeah. It is the most comfortable thing I've ever put on my head. It's nice. I'm going to do this, Steve. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but you kind of put your hand in here. You fold these, these pads. I think, I don't know what the names of these pads are, but we'll just call them pads for right now. Kind of, kind of get your fingers under them a little bit. And they just pop right out. And then you'll see here, this little triangle is what kind of locks them into place and you fold it and pop them back in. They will be sending you with the helmet all these guys. So these are all the fit pads and they come in five different sizes. So the ones that are in the helmet are 0 0.5, then you have 0 0.625, 0 0.75, 0 0.875 and one inch. And all of these are going to be coming with the helmet. So oh, you yeah. can really dial in the fit and you get five of each one, each one or six of each one of these that will can be swapped out. So you can put a one inch in one spot and a half an inch in another spot if you wanted to, if you needed that. So that's kind of nice. I mean, the truth is you're, you are paying for it, but the, the helmet, helmet can grow with yeah. you. You can cut your hair if you have big yeah. hair, you know, whatever it might be. Um, just don't lose those pads. Yeah, and, I, and, and technically you can do something similar with shut and Riddell, the higher end shut and Riddell helmets, um, but you just got to get the pads right. from somewhere. So what's nice is, you know, we're going to be selling this helmet uh, as, as soon as we can, as soon as it becomes available and we have more information about it. Uh, we're also, also going to be offering it to some teams out there. And probably if you were a team buying these, you, won't, you don't need all of these pads. Added benefit of taking them out too is, you can just clean them. I put this thing on the scale and it came in at exactly 4.5 pounds. So it is a touch lighter than the first model. Yeah, and this is a carbon steel face mask that's on, on this. I know that they're gonna have titanium face masks as well. That'll cut another half a pound off of it. When I hold this, it feels like it's right in line with either like a Shut F7 or a Riddell Speed Flex. Uh, so I think that from a weight perspective, it's gonna be kind of just there, it's standard. It's not going to be exceptionally lighter or heavier than anything else. I don't think you're really going to feel a difference. And uh, I know that this is going to be able to fit a Oakley visor that's going to be made specifically for this helmet, just like the Zero One had a visor that, that was made specifically for those helmets. It appears as though 
We should be able to get some other visors in here. We'll, you know, once we have a helmet for a longer term, we'll pop some Under Armour Oakley shock visors in here, see how they all fit. I'm gonna guess that they're gonna be just fine. Yeah, and you know we're gonna do a build with one. Steve, that, <laughs> that goes without saying. I see a Patty Mahomes coming up again. Yeah, maybe. maybe. Yeah. I think he's the, basically the biggest name wearing one. Well, hey, Heck man, yeah, he's man. the biggest name, period. Right. So, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell for more videos like this. Until next time, cheers. Cheers.